Hey there, Crystal Thompson here for Simon Says Stamp. Today I am playing around with the pattern paper stack included in the December 2020 card kit called Joyful Season. So for this kit, we are going to be using, of course, the pattern paper and one of the stamp sets that Merry Christmas included in the kit from this Joyful Season 6x8, along with some of the cool Tim Holtz Ideology Christmas Velvet trims, some foam, and scissors so this is a great way to utilize all your scraps and this is my third video with this card kit because i wanted to show you how much you can get done and i still had a ton of pattern paper left after this card so we're going to begin by trimming that red stripes to four and a quarter by five and a half i like to make all my cards a2 sizes because i have a ton of envelopes and then I have this Vintage Santa. This is from the Simple Stories Vintage North Pole 6x8 paper set. So this was 8 inches and I have cut around so the Santa fits nice and perfectly. I've added one layer of foam adhesive. Then I have a piece of red pattern paper and it's a very uh, kind of solid looking pattern paper. And we're going to stamp the Merry Christmas stamp from the Joyful Season stamp set also included in the kit using some black black intense ink from the uh, from Simon Says Stamp and this is a really cool uh, Copic friendly ink that I kind of use for everything and I have extra sets extra little strips of this red and I'm going to stamp another Merry Christmas so that way is nice and dry and we can move on to our next card. So you could go ahead and embellish if you wanted to embellish this card. I'm just going to let it be. So I have a piece of foam. I have folded it in half. So then you have two layers of foam. And then the hardest part of the whole thing is to add that layer foam on the back, removing that sticky back. I'm going to bring in my Tim Holtz scissors. And my child had actually <laughs> cut a piece of um, electrical cord with my last Tim Holtz scissors. So if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that he cut a huge hole on the scissors, but it had a protective plastic edge. So he didn't get electrocuted. Thank you, God. But I did replace them because these are absolutely my favorite scissors. If you're looking for a really good pair of scissors to fussy cut, the Tim Holtz mini snips is the way to go. For our second card, I have a four and a quarter by five and a half sheet of that Simple Stories Vintage, and it has a little vintage snowflakes. And then the same pad had two sheets of these um, two by two inch kind of square that this one says have a holly jolly Christmas. And so it's super easy to cut those and then just center it. And then I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Ideology Christmas Velvet trims to embellish the card. So using my Tombow adhesive roller. I'm going to add a little strip and then I'm going to come in with my velvet strip and as you can see I kind of pre-cut one edge and then bring in so depending on how much you want to leave out you can let a lot of uh, of the excess point on the back or out on the edges or just trim right to the cards edge. it's up to you if you're going to um, use a little bubble mailer when you're sending out your Christmas cards but this one we're layering another set of strips from the Simple Stories Vintage North Pole and I've just flipped this around uh, I'm going to flip over the card, bring in my little Tim Holtz scissors, and we're going to trim the edges of the cards. And again, you can cut as close or as far as you want from the card's edge. I'm going to speed things up just a little bit. I'm going to bring in a red set of those velvet trims and we're going to put it across the other trims that we just placed. And again, just using the tumble roller, it really sticks really well. It's a permanent adhesive. And then I'm going to add a second layer of that strip paper and it turns out super pretty. We're going to set aside. We're going to move all our scraps and move on to our third card. So again, more of the awesome Simple Stories Vintage North Pole pattern paper. And on this one, there this one has a candy cane on the edge I've gone ahead and fussy cut as you can see it's not super perfect but it doesn't have to be I have my green cardstock four and a quarter by five and a half remember that Merry Christmas we stamped at the beginning well we're gonna add a little bit piece of foam to the back again the hardest part is removing that sticky back we're gonna place a Merry Christmas and I want to be sure that I place the sentiment first before I add the the floral festive candy cane because I'm going to go ahead and use the edge of the cardstock to trim it. So I'm going to bring in with some more foam adhesive. We're going to add one strip to the very 
edge of the actual florals because I want to be sure that I'm going to stick it to the card. Getting as close as I can to that Merry Christmas, we're going to flip this around, bring back our scissors, and then cut using the straight edge of the card. If you're unsure about your cutting, you can totally go grab your paper trimmer and trim the edge of the card. And then again, here you can embellish with anything you like, more ribbons, nouveaux, sequins, but I really wanna keep it very short on how to make super easy pattern paper cards. And last but not least, I'm gonna use the awesome Midnight Green cardstock included in the kit. And then the Simple Stories Vintage North Pole paper had this really cool like black and white striped. So I've cut that about an inch wide to about five and a half inches long, which is gonna be the length of the card using tumble roller adhesive for that. And then I have this circle and da 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 da. This circle has the Santa and this is also part of the Simple Stories pattern paper. And so look into your pattern papers and you'll find different shapes that you can totally fussy cut around. This was a square uh, red Santa and then I just went ahead and cut the circle and it's gonna be a perfect little um, sentiment and, and it have an abstract shape such so as circles and squares together really makes it pop. We're going to add some more of that Tim Holtz Ideology Christmas Velvet trims using the Tombow Ruler adhesive and I did my best to place it on the center. We're totally um, free handing it here. We're going to remove the backings of the circle. Again, the hardest part of the whole thing and we're going to place this onto our card and so we're gonna place them right in the center and it says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And I didn't think that it needed any further embellishment. So I'm just gonna trim the edges of that velvet trim. And guys, that does it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. We made four cards under uh, six minutes or so using the pattern papers from the December 2020 card hit, Joyful Season. I still have like eight million sheets left. So we're, I'm gonna continue making cards. Hop on over to Instagram, tag me when you make something that you are inspired by this kit. I love to see what you guys make. All products are linked down below. And again, I can't see, I can't wait to see what you guys are making. If you're new to the channel, please click subscribe to support this video. And please don't forget to comment or like this video. You guys have an amazing day.